All right, we've got this all compacted. Our sub base is nice and hard. Now we're gonna go get our base material. And one thing you guys should remember with base material is you need it hard. It's gotta be hard. So don't use like uh, screened red granite, things of that nature, because that shit just decomposes all the time and then your patio falls apart. So we use limestone screenings, which is this stuff. I'm gonna show you this real quick. So this is what limestone screenings are. And it's from the limestone rock, obviously. But it, this stuff packs really hard, you know? You can kind of see how that packs up. So you can drive, you'll notice when I drive on it even, I mean, she packs so hard and you run a compactor across it and packs up nice so that once the pavers are down on top of this, your base doesn't move. Because if your base moves, the whole thing takes a crap because it's just like a foundation on a house. If your foundation was bad and your footing was bad, it's gonna create havoc. And when it, when it moves and everything shifts, then everything starts falling apart in your house and everything's dead, kitty ass wampus and all that bullshit, you know? So, spend your time on the base more than anything. Concentrate on your base, your foundation. If that's good, everything else will come together seamlessly, so. Okay, well I'm gonna get some base. I built up a little bit of a ramp here with some blocking that I had to use to get over that curb. that release I was talking about. Where... What was that? Or that a flat tire? I don't know. Tell me you're still recording. I am. Well, let's figure out what it was, because, boy, that did not sound good. Well, that's that's that a sounded flat like tire. a tire. Yeah, a flat tire. Flat. From sitting there? What in the heck? Came out back here. Something's dripping now, too. Oh, sure. There's a hole right there. Right there. Run over something. Uh, guess where my tire patch kit is? Not here. Not here. It is in my diesel. Dodge diesel. All right. So, well, alrighty, that was interesting. I went and wanted to shoot a segment, and psh, okay. Well, we're gonna have to go to town and get a plug kit, fix that. All right. So anyway, back to this. Now we have this rough graded into place. Now this is our base. So now when you compact this, you guys, remember this. You want to compact it evenly everywhere. So as I go around this, I'm going to just pack the crap out of this thing. So I'm going to go around each time and just go once. So in other words, start on your outside ring and go around that ring three different times. Don't just go once and then move in and then move in and move in because then you won't know where you're at when you try to do it three times evenly. So I'm gonna pack this whole thing three times evenly and I'm gonna stop talking and do it. And that's that, so to speak. We have that done. Normally, I use a line level or something like that, but today's day and age, I got a little bit sophisticated. I'm going to use a laser level. And in order to do that, we have to pound these stakes. So, what's left of these stakes anyway? It looks like I've used them a time or two. There's nothing left of that one. Let's get some of these guys in here. All right. Get them out to the outside edges, beat them down in there. Damn. When I make a base, I make a base. She's hard, boy. She's hard. Like an 18-year-old kid in high school. All right. Okay. That's dos. For those of you who understand Spanish. 
think that goes. Alright, how many stakes do I have left? One, two, three. Spread them out, boss. Spread them out. Straighten up. Rocks down there. Has any idea is to run a string line across here, which is the next thing. Let me get these punched in and I'll get right back to you on that. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna use this laser level and kind of a handy little gadget. Pop it in, shoots a laser around, and then you have a receiver on the other end that catches that beam and tells you when things are level. So first thing you gotta do is find a spot where you can make it level. What I'm gonna do is Now we got that going, we know that's level. So, you see the little laser spin in there. Now I gotta have my receiver, which is this little guy. Turn this on, and if you can see in this screen, what we're gonna do is, we're, this will tell us if it has to go higher or lower. So, once you, Well, it's supposed to tell us. Oh yeah, there we go. So now, how you doing, little boy? Want a job, little boy? Look at him. Now you scared him. Look at him. running like hell. Way to go. So, in order for us to determine where we want this to be, we know this is going to be our block. And we know we want our block just a little bit higher than what this lawn is right here. So this is perfect. This is what I want right here. So therefore, I'm going to set this. This is going to be where I want to end up. Actually, I'm going to go on this side. Shh. Silent poopy pants. Now, let me go until I hear that thing beep. Now, if you can see this screen over here, see that's dead nuts. Now, when you watch these, what happens is if I go down too much, see that little arrow? It's telling me to come up. And if I went too high, it's going to tell me to go down. So I go down until, up, up just to here. Right there, I'm going to tighten it off. And that means wherever I set this on the ground now, that's going to be level with this. So, I've got a red pen to mark, because as you can tell, I've used these a few times. This has got to go down. So I've got to take a good inch out over there. Now if we come over here, that's really got to come down. I gotta come down at least an inch over there. And it's probably gonna do the same thing. Yep. Right there. So I know I gotta take about an inch out. Got a little too much base in here. Alright. So I know I gotta take about an inch out. 
a little, little too much in here, so we'll start pulling some out. All right, you can shut that off. And then. Okay, so now we dug a little out on that side. We knew we were a little high. Now we come back out and let's test it again, see where we're at. All right, so that's our point. That's where we want to be. So now you may want to come around here so you can see this. So laser shining over here. Now we want to make sure this is level. So we want the whole thing level. Look what she's saying right there. And where she is, make a mark. And that's right where we're going to bring our base up, right where I made that mark on that stick. So let's see where this one is. Now I'll probably be in the way of the laser, but... Make a mark right there, which is where our base is anyway. It's right here. We know that's level, and then we'll do that all the way around. Make sure, so we've got a hook here now. Get rid of that. Nope. Okay, so now we've got them all marked with the laser. We know where that we have to be to have this thing level. This is string line that we use. Here's a handy dandy little roller outfit. And I'll show you a cute little trick uh, that my dad did. My dad taught me, and I know this has, this is my level spot right there where the ground is level. So bring this around like so. Flip that over, bring it back through. Can you see that? All right, and pull it tight and then shove this down level with the ground because we know it's level here now we're going to run this to all of our different stakes and that's going to determine you're going to see the high spots and the low spots as soon as i set this up so get rid of this stuff and spread it out a little bit when you set this up make sure that string is down where it needs to be on your line that you drew all right, pull it tight. Keep it on that line, don't, don't let it get off the line. You'll wrap it around two, three, four times. Put it down again, make sure it's nice and level. And then, the next one. Just zigzag back and forth. That's all you're doing. This one, we know we got to get down here quite a ways. Still quite a ways off here, so pull it tight. Wrap around. And again, keep finding your lines and make sure you stay on them. Pull it tight. Now, another trick I want to show you guys something. Come over here and I'm going to show you. So this is something you really got to watch for. So if you can come over here and look at this. You'll see how this is, how I wrapped around a few times. Well, this was dead set on my line, so I want to make sure I stay right here. When I come off and I go to the next one, that's where I got to be. 
I don't want that to change. All right, so that, that keeps it level. I'm gonna come back over here, do the same thing on this one. Pull it nice and tight, because you're gonna be raking on that, and you don't want it to move on you. Make sure all of your lines stay level. Nice and tight. you an idea where we're at with our base. That's probably plenty. Okay, now that we have that done, what we want to do is we want to look for the high spots and low spots. Now look right here. You can see this. This is clearly a high spot. The string is actually, it's resting on top of this, and here I've got a gap of about, I don't know, a quarter of an inch or so. So what I'm gonna do is rake this down. And any place that looks like it might be a little low, which is like right over here, I can rake some of this into this spot. What you don't want is your string touching any, anywhere. You want your string to be just, just very gently, a quarter of an inch above that whole base, all the way around. You don't want it touching anything. All right, so here it's touching, so we're gonna spread this out so it's not. Bang right here, a little bit of a hole, I can see it. Cover that, make sure the strings are not touching your base. Alrighty then, so, too many interruptions on this block, but I'll make it work. So now we have all of this leveled, if you can come and show the screen, kind of see how we have, have a level as close as you're going to get it. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that compactor, run across it one more time, that'll be our fifth time, and then we're going to check the string, make a little adjustment here and there, probably just a little bit, but right now it's pretty damn close. So let's see, one more lap around and that's it. Okay, so now we're laying our patio. These things are freaking nuts. They're uh, like putting together pieces of a puzzle. So they look cool and everything, but you know, man. number one, I can see that they're going to take a lot of freaking. Uh, I was never good at puzzles when I was a kid. There we go. Look at the sand this is going to take. You know what I mean? I don't know, it's going to be interesting, but we'll, uh, we'll figure out the pattern, and you have to keep in mind too, you got some that are more tan, some are more red, a little gray in them, so you got to mix them up a little bit. Thank you. 
sand though. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we've got to put our edging down and it's kind of a weird design, it's a weird brick, never laid this before, but anyway, we're going to just form our edging around this thing and then I think we'll fill the inside of this up with our base that packs down hard and then uh, it's going to be the mulch over the top of that, so the mulch is going to go all around it and make it look really cool, so alright, I'm going to get to hammering, that's that. Alrighty then, got done with that, got them in place, got our edging down. Now we're going to take the sand, we're going to go over the top of these guys, and there's a lot of sand to go in these joints. We also have some polymeric sand that we're going to put on top of that. So for now, I'm going to put this on, and then we're going to run over it with a compactor, and that'll clean it up also. It'll knock out any any impurities that you have that'll take care of those in these gaps we put uh, more base in there so and we pack them down with a hammer to kind of firm things up and this will firm things up too when we get the sand in the joints so that's what we're gonna do now camera guy oh my god And some of the sand's a little bit wet, so if you get it out here, I mean, it should be nice and dry, then it really goes into the joints good. But if it's a little wet, just spread it out. Let it dry, give it a couple of minutes, go work on something else, and let this stuff dry out. Then it'll come back and it'll sweep right in the joints just fine. So that's what we're gonna do. Let's go work on something else. We'll let that dry a little bit. Because this brick is thicker, um, it's got a lot of strength to it. You're able to take a compactor across this. So any impurities that you might have with the brick, if it's not 100% perfectly level, this thing will tap them down in there. So now she's level, you know, she smooths the baby's bottom. So anyway, now that that's done, and the other thing you'll notice, the sand, we had filled up all these joints. Now come and look at the sand in here. So from running a plate compactor across it, it vibrated them in place. So it's constantly shaking them and, and pushing them down into my, my uh, base material down here. And it's packing them in good so they're nice and, nice and flat, you know, they don't move, they don't go anywhere. And now I can use my polymeric sand over the top and I only got to go, you know, half inch all the way around this thing with that. Sweep it in, water it, psh, done. Move on to the next thing. Planting and mulch and shit, like stuff like that. Okay. Alright, so now, get that done, all the plants are in, this is compacted, we still got to do the sand yet, the pavers, got our plants in, got to pick a little garbage, level that off, and he wants these plants to grow together, so we're not going to go with the weed fabric, because he wants everything here to just kind of grow together, so those are the plants that he picked out, selected. So uh, we're going to work with them. Alright guys, so pavers are in, they're all fastened down, they're sanded. We put this uh, polymeric joint sand in and now we're going to water that down. But if you can see, this is kind of the, the end result here. Looks pretty cool. Okay, so anyway, we got all this laid in guys. Now I'm just doing the final touches on it. Mulch is in everywhere, the plants are in everywhere. Uh, as you can see, and we have this polymeric sand that we're putting on top. What that does is it stabilizes the joints, turns it into like a softer mortar type stuff. So, all we do with that, I swept it into the joints. You make sure you clean off the tops of these really good. Otherwise, it leaves a, like a residue on top. So, after you get that done, you just lightly water this. 
and then you leave it sit for about 20 minutes and then you lightly water it again leave it sit for another 20 minutes and uh, water it at the last time and you're good to go so you do, if you water it hard you'll actually push the sand out of the joints that's why you do it very lightly and just let it slowly soak in all right that's good enough we're gonna wait for a little while we'll start cleaning up our mess out on the street get these areas seated that we destroyed while working on the place and uh, that's that's gonna be that so anyway I guess to wrap this whole thing up I had no idea why we were gonna do this video today I just want to take you along with me for a day uh, just to come out show you what we do some of the landscaping stuff that we do um, this is a pretty profitable one we made up pretty good on this one so we're gonna get picking up but anyway guys Thank you for watching. This has been George Packer with Family Lawn and Landscape. And as always, leave me your comments down below as I try to answer everybody. And uh, have a great day.